What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the max math function. So, if you've watched my previous video on what min is, max is the opposite of this. So min was where you pass in either a series of numbers or an array, and it gives you the minimum value. This one is max, so we're going to find the maximum value from either a collection of numbers or an array. Let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here. I've got my manual trigger flow, and I've got a compose action here. So if I click into compose, and then go to expression, I can scroll across a little bit. Uh, we'll minimize this side. Oh, everything's gone. Just give us a bit more room. And we will um, scroll down until we get to the math functions. And here we have max. So for max, it says returns the maximum value in an input array of numbers. And then the parameters say either a collection or item one, item two, and then the question mark, comma, dot, dot, dot. So what that means is we can either pass in an array of numbers um, from an actual array, or we can uh, put numbers into this um, either via dynamic content or hard coding, um, separating them by commas. So um, if you already have numbers in an array, then that's great. You can use the collection function here. Um, if not, and you actually take in individual numbers from multiple sources, so maybe you're looking at multiple records um, or you know multiple pieces of data, you can actually just put those in one by one. So what we'll do is we'll click on max, and then all we'll do is we'll just hard code in some numbers for now. So we'll type in 4, type in 64, uh, 34, uh, 74, not meaning to hit 4 all the time, uh, 67, 86, and then 656. So you'll notice here that I am not, um, I'm not putting any sort of single or double quotation marks around these numbers. This is because this is a math function. By putting those quotation marks around, that would treat it as a string. We're actually hoping to this, we're looking for this to treat it as a number instead. So what this will do is this will look through and this will find the maximum number here and then return that. So we'll just click OK and that'll go into there and we can test this out. So we'll click test, save and test, run the flow, click done, run successfully. And uh, we can see here that the output is 656. So that's all good. But what if we want to use an array? So what we'll do is we will clear the data out of the two compose actions here. And in this first compose action, we will create an array. So I've covered creating arrays in other videos. Um, so you can check those videos out if you want. Uh, but in here, again, we're just trying to type in some numbers. Um, And there we go. Uh, and we'll create the array. So again, around the array, no uh, quotation marks. Uh, and then in here, we're going to choose max. We'll choose OK. We'll open the bracket and then we'll skip over to dynamic content and we'll choose the output. So what this is doing is this is going to look for the max output from that array in that previous step. So we previously been hard coding the values for this but this allows us to take some dynamic content. Uh, and again, we could do this and we could have multiple um, you know, values. But in this instance, we're just wanting to pass in an array which has all the values that we want. So we'll click OK and it'll go in there. And then we'll test this out. So we'll save and perform, save and perform the trigger, run, flow, save and test, done, done, done. And we can see that we created the array with all these numbers 43, 346, 875, 23, 2643, 65757. And then the max is 65757, so 65,757. So, as I mentioned in the mid video, this has a lot of uh, implications in terms of uh, running through numbers. Um, and checking to see whether you um, store a certain amount. So you could use this for um, you know, surveys and things like that. If you have a, a rating of like, say, one to 10, uh, 10 being the best and you know, one being not 
not the best. Um, you could um, use a flow that runs through and checks to see um, the minimum value or the maximum value. Um, so in this terms, in this case, it'd be maximum value. So you could see if you've got any tens, and if you've got any tens, maybe send an email to someone to say, "Hey, um, you stored a ten on this survey. Just wanted to let you know. Do you a pat on the back? Um, you know, and by the way, you can leave family early on Friday. That sort of thing." or any other things but as always i always want to know what you guys use these functions for or what you'll use them for in the future so let me know in the comments down below if you've uh, if you like this video please like and please share it with your friends it's always appreciated if you've not already please subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you next time